Hey guys, in Angui 3.5.6, I've added a data binding system, which is something some of you have been asking for quite some time. In this video, I'm going to briefly explain how it all works. So first things first, to get the obvious out of the way, data binding is the ability to bind one variable or property or field to another. And essentially when you're changing one of them, another one will be updated automatically without having to write any code. I'll be honest with you though, if you are a programmer like myself, you're probably not going to find this feature to be that useful. But if you are an artist or level designer or just happen to be quickly prototyping something, then you actually might find it fairly useful. So here's how you can actually use it. Attach a property binding script, specify source, and a target, and then choose some property that you want bound. So for example, sprite width for the source and for the target, I'm going to choose just label text. As soon as I do this, you will notice that the label has assumed a text value which is equal to the width of the sprite. And as I drag the sprite around, you will notice that the text gets updated automatically. Of course, you can change the direction to be something else. So for example, instead of source updating the target, you can change it to be target updating the source. Now, if I drag this around, nothing will actually happen because the labels value is what controls the sprites width. So if I was to type 400, for example, you will notice that the text value that I'm typing is actually affecting the sprite. If I was to choose a different target, for example, a sprite, and just choose sprite width as well, you will notice that as soon as I adjust one sprite, the other one will be adjusted as well. I can also change the direction to be bidirectional as well which means that I can adjust this sprite, I can adjust that one, and both of them are essentially getting updated when one of them changes. Of course, this is not limited to UI objects. Here, for example, I have a regular game object, and I can put a property binding script on it, and then I'm just going to choose the object itself as the source and I'll choose the label as the target. For the source I'm going to choose the transform position. For the target I'm just going to choose the text. And now as I move the object around you will notice that the label will represent the position value of the game object. And because the system is so generic, you can use it in your own code as well. Adding a property to uh, any script is quite easy. Make it a public so inspector can actually see it. And just say property reference and call it something. Save it back to Unity and the property will show up. Now you can choose any property you want. From this point, what you actually do with it is really up to you. If I was to add a second property, and for example, specify uh, I'll just specify the game object and also specify transform name. And here, for example, I want uh, one to update the other. Doing so is actually quite simple. Create an update function and do my property set second property get. That's it. Now if I do execute and exit, 
node and tab back to Unity, you will notice that the label changed its name to game object. So now if I type hello here, you'll notice that the label also changed its name. Well, I hope you will find this feature useful. Thanks for watching.